Hi, you are blessed for being here. My name is Quinlet. I'm a gospel minister. In my previous video, I spoke about beliefs, negative and positive beliefs. I said beliefs are killing a lot of people, the negative ones. People are in abusive marriages because of beliefs. People have lost their conscience because of beliefs. People are being manipulated, brainwashed because of beliefs. And today I'm going to tell you the developers of those beliefs. God is all-powerful God. God is a supreme God. God doesn't share his glory with anybody. All authority belongs to God, but God gave authority to man. We have four levels of authorities. We have the delegated authority. We have stipulated authority. We have authority of customs and tradition. And we have functional authority. I'll not talk about all. I'll talk about the functional authority. But before then, there are some authorities that are reserved to God alone. For example, sovereign, it means God can never be questioned. You can never challenge God. He is the authority of the highest magnitude. We have the voracious authority. That one also belongs to God. It means the God beyond the shadow of doubts. And we have authority of conscience. I am basing my facts and my teachings today on the functional authority functional authority these are authorities out of one's own ability and capability and we all have it for example by birth okay the natural one and by training the one that comes through education we have grace that is from god divine and we have the experienced one the one that we learn from people or maybe you have grown you have gathered so many experiences in life and you are operating under that authority. All this comes together to develop belief. These people are very powerful. They are strong. They are influencers. They have the followers. People listen to them. And sometimes they become very arrogant and proud. Some even play God in the lives of people. They are all leaders. They have authority. For example, I know a family, they are all hairstylists. They didn't learn from anywhere. That is the natural one by birth. So if I am now learning, how can I challenge those people? If you are sick and you go to the doctor, medical doctor, and he tells you you have headache and you doubt that you have headache, you don't go to a policeman for a confirmation. You go to another medical doctor because you believe that they are both having that authority. They are operating under that office. And that is why you go there. So, like I said yesterday, it is not easy to pull somebody from a particular belief. These are the people who develop beliefs. Let me tell you a story that happened in the Bible. And it will shock you. In 1 Kings chapter 13, verse 11 to 25. If you get time, read the whole uh, chapter. Read the whole uh, verse. How do we call it? Read it. There was an old and a new prophet. In Bethel. And this new prophet was sent to that town to go and do. To, to, to go and work. To accomplish an assignment in that land. Whilst he went there. The sons of the old prophet went to their father and said. Hey, there is a new prophet here. He is doing this. He is doing this. He is doing that. I cannot tell what came into the mind of the of the old prophet because I don't read the mind of people but he did something that beats imagination the moment he heard that he said saddle my donkey for me he went straight to the new prophet and brought him home the new prophet was was refusing because he had instruction from God that whilst you are going to this town don't eat there don't drink there don't go and eat in that town if you go and they offer you water don't drink so when the old prophet came to the new prophet, he said to him, God told me not to eat from here, not to drink from here. And do you know what the, the old prophet did? Let me read this to you. In chapter 18, he said to him, I too am a prophet as you are. And an angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord, saying, bring him back with you to your house, that he may eat bread and drink water. Into bracket, he was lying to him. This is an old prophet. 
he went to lie to a new prophet. For what reason? I don't know. He quoted, uh, he, 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 he told him about himself. He said, I'm a prophet like you. So he believed, why did he believe him? Because he knows that he has that authority, he has that power. He believed in him because they are all operating under the same office. And over here, if we look at it critically, this man is, uh, is uh, under grace, but he also functioned under authority of uh, the old prophet, function under authority of custom and tradition. Why? Because the new prophet thought he is, he is a very old man in the business or in the ministry. He knows more. He is supposed to submit to him. He is the papa. And these are things that are destroying the church. They are destroying the lives of people. We are believing and trusting in people who are not under the grace of God. Who are operating under their own power and their own authority. And they are building beliefs for innocent people to follow. And it is destroying the lives of people. So... What, what happened? Whilst they were sitting at the table and they were eating, the word of the Lord came to them. It didn't come to the new prophets. The, this, old, this same old prophet who lied to the new prophet, the word of the Lord came to him to be given to the, to the, to the new prophet. The old prophet who lied, a word of the Lord came to him to be given to the new prophet. God said to him, because you have disobeyed me, you didn't listen to my instructions. I sent you here to come and do my work and I told you not to eat here, not to drink here. But because you have done this, your dead body will not be buried in the tomb of your, of your fathers. So whilst the new prophet was going, a lion met him on the way and killed him. And that was how he died. He died because he believed in a prophet thinking he is functioning under the power of the Holy Spirit. But it was a lie. He was functioning under the power of God. But it was a lie. A lot of people are playing God in the lives of people. And it is not true. And that is why Queen Lit, I'm standing here. You might not understand me from now. But sit down please quietly and listen. Because we are driving at a destination. You will understand it. Please share the video. Make sure you share it all over. The Bible says we should be vigilant. And we should even watch whilst praying. Don't just follow people just like that. You need a discernment of spirit. To know where you are going. Those that you move with. People that you trust in them. It is true. Some of them are experienced. They are very expect on their field but they are not working under the power of God. They are doing their own things. The Bible says those who worship God must worship him in truth and in spirit because God is a spirit. And that statement means there are people who are not worshiping God in truth and in spirit. So many people started well but they have they, 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 they have left they have left the place of God. And sometimes if they don't see that uh, which was happening before, they go to all sorts of places to look for things to help them build themselves. Collecting charms and all, all kinds of things to build up their churches. To build up their groups. So that the people will still continue to believe in them. Because God is no more with them. And this is not a joke. Open your eyes, people. Whilst you are praying, please let your brain work. Pray for the Holy Spirit to give you the same of spirit. So that you will not be at the wrong places. Because negative beliefs are killing people. Beliefs that are not based upon the word of God. People have created their kingdom. You go to them. Not only in the church, it could be anywhere. They manipulate you with what they believe in, but not the word of God. If you are somewhere and they are always using their own language, but not the language of God, please be careful. Subscribe to our channel. 
Quinlet Music on YouTube.